Hello friends, in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to integrate your dialog flow uh, with Firebase storage and how to upload images from your dialog flow into the Firebase storage. So basically if you have an image that you want to upload into your Firebase storage, uh, I can show you how to upload that image. So let's quickly open Firebase storage. So you can go to firebase.google.com and if you go to console here you can see your Firebase. If you can't find your project here just click on add project and let's give it a name Firebase demo and select the project which you have created for your uh, dialog flow agent and continue you can confirm the plan continue continue you need to accept the conditions and then add firebase Click on continue and your Firebase is ready. So if you click here storage, Firebase provides you an option to upload files. You know, it could be video, audio or any kind of file. So click on get started. Next, done. So account created. Now if you go here uh, in the Firebase database uh, in the storage section uh, here you will see the Firebase storage. So here you can upload uh, you know any number of files and it's just like uh, your Google Drive or Dropbox but uh, you can you know programmatically access the files uh, if you want to store videos or mp3 audio files or images and it's a good idea to store in Firebase uh, storage. So now we'll see how to programmatically store any image or video in this storage from Dialogflow. All right, so what we'll do is we'll create an intent and we'll call it image upload. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we will put some URL here and uh, the idea is you paste a URL, the photo or the image will be downloaded and it will be uploaded here in the uh, in the storage, Firebase storage. So for that, let's put some URL here, uh, some URL of the images. So we can just image some flower images. Let's uh, take an image, let's say take this one and we can copy the uh, open image in new tab. Let's do that. Yeah, and we got this URL. Let's put that in the training phrase which means uh, any such URL uh, will be considered as uh, will trigger this intent and then we will get the URL as a parameter. So this whole thing can be considered as a Uh, URL. <laughs> 
so even if i write google.com that will be considered as a url so see we got url and then this value and this image upload intent is triggered so let's say if i paste another image url here Uh, let's take another image. All right. So if I put this URL here, see it triggers this image upload intent and this URL is received. So that works. All right, so now we have got this uh, URL. Now we will write some code. So we'll go to the fulfillment section and we will add a new intent map and our intent name is image upload and let's create a function called handle image upload so just come here and create a function handle image upload agent and then we have to fetch the uh, the URL so this will give us the URL uh, let's let's just see if we get this URL. So I'll write just agent dot add URL. So let's see if that works. All right, so it's deployed. Now let's put a URL here and see if it works. So it didn't work. And yeah, the reason is we haven't enabled fulfillment. Uh, click this fulfillment option and enable fulfillment save it now go back to the intent and let's check one more thing we don't want this is list option all right so now if i put this url here and see we got this response as the url that means our url is being passed in the code so now we will actually write the code to upload the file so i have already written the code i am just going to paste the code here and this code is already available in github i'll put the link in the description section below so this is the code to upload the file all right so a couple of things you need to make sure here is uh, first of all you need to define what is a bucket so for that
you need to put this code here. Now, what does that mean? For admin, you need to have Firebase admin. Okay. So here you will put the database URL, which you can get from here. This URL. So you can just copy it from here and can remove this database URL because we are not using Firestore database. We are using the Firebase storage for uploading files. So you can just put it here. Okay. And then what is bucket? So you need to define a few more things. can just use this code here. After we have written this code, admin.initialize app settings db bucket and this default code to upload the file. Now we, this, this function to upload the file, now we need to actually call uh, this function. Okay, so let's call this function here. So we'll write a code like this. So the URL is the actual file URL. We'll pass it here. Okay, let's put a semicolon here. And the token is, could be a UUID, it could be date stamp, could be anything. So you just need to pass the URL and a date or any token. And then, uh, then result, agent dotted, image uploaded. Let's comment out this one. Uh, we just want to see this message image uploaded and as soon as we get that message we should see an image uploaded here so let's deploy this code and let's see if it works works or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just paste a URL. Okay. And let's check our Firebase storage if it's empty. Yeah, it's empty. Let me refresh it as well. And uh, yeah, it is empty. Let me put a URL here. It's a JPEG image URL. And it says image uploaded, that's good. If I go to Firebase and refresh the page, and there you go. So you have images folder, and within that you have this image, and you can see the image here, this. And if you see, we have actually written images slash token. So that's why uh, image is being stored inside the images folder. So yeah, it worked. Basically uh, now you are able to upload uh, an image just by passing the URL. 
if you integrate uh, your dialog flow with uh, some whatsapp api service or any image upload service basically uh, they will pass some url in dialog flow and then you can use that url to upload the image into your firebase storage so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like this if you have any questions uh, just feel free to comment in the comment section below please like share and subscribe to our channel uh, like this video share it with your friends and thanks for watching this video tutorial